Mr. Van Orden. I thank the gentleman the from Wisconsin is recognized for three minutes. I thank the gentlelady from Indiana. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of the 43rd Amendment of the, excuse me, the rules package. The United States has long been recognized as a global leader in aviation safety, and each day thousands of men and women work tirelessly to ensure smooth operations at our nation's airports. However, in recent months, we've, had, we've witnessed a concerning increase in fatalities of our ground crews, especially in rural airports like those in my district. First and foremost, it's crucial to understand and acknowledge that historically, the United States has been a leader in aviation safety. For decades, we've set the standard for the rest of the world with safety protocols that have undoubtedly saved countless lives. Nonetheless, we cannot ignore the disturbing trend that has emerged in recent months. Close calls in our airspace and tragedies at our airports have become, have become alarmingly frequent. These incidents remind us that we cannot be complacent on issues that threaten the safety of my constituents who work in rural airports and those days uh, and who spend their days helping Americans get from point A to point B. I'm proud to be the first co-sponsor to this amendment that was introduced by my Democrat colleague from the great state of Oregon, Ms. Hoyle, because it just makes sense. It requires the FAA to develop and publish safety training materials for airport ground crews workers, including supervisory employees. This amendment will help in incidents involving aircraft ingestion and jet blast hazards decrease. And it is critical to keeping the airport workers in Wisconsin's third congressional district safe. The 2023 FAA reauthorization is bold and necessary, and it takes steps towards protecting the men and women that make it possible for most of us to travel to this chamber so that we can, res we can serve our constituents. With that, I yield back. Gentlewoman reserves.